Whitaker called out Darren Till. And to sweeten the pot, he said, you know what, let's even do it in London. I mean, it all traveled to your hometown. Before we get into the X's and O's of that potential fight, I took this as really good news, right? The champ is back. That's how I'm taking it. Whitaker had been out for a meaningful period of time, right? Remember the intestinal things he was dealing with, the broken hand versus the Romero fight? I mean, he was out for a very long time. He was out so long that they needed to hold and contest an interim championship before they could finally get to his title. And he talked about, you know, some ups and downs mentally from the sport. He's very public about this. So when he had the down, and then we haven't heard from him for a little bit, I just thought this was good news. Whitaker is incredible. Whitaker in there with Adesanya, I mean, look, when Whitaker bets back to that title fight, back to try to get his belt, he's going to do better. Adesanya is an awkward fighter. He's one of those guys, if you just have a little bit of time in there with him, it's going to help you for another time you have in there with him. Whitaker's one of those right guys, and that division's a little bit goofy right now, right? With Weidman leaving it, with Jacare leaving it, with Till jumping into it, with Adesanya taking it over, and there was a big question, where's Whitaker? And what's he going to do? Does he want some time off? Does he need a break? Do you get him right back on the horse? Now, as far as the X's and the O's of a Robert Whitaker versus Darren Till fight, that is very compelling. The power that Robert Whitaker has, the unpredictableness that Darren Till has, by the way, they both prefer to stand up on their feet. I mean, it's a very interesting and compelling fight. I think that Whitaker was right to go after Till particularly if Till is on the short list for top contenders. I see what he's doing there, and I really respect it. I do think that before any of the chips fall with Till, I'm holding out, guys. I'm holding out with the prediction. I think, I think he goes right into a fight with Adesanya. I really do. If you look at those pieces, I think you're down to Whitaker versus Romero. I apologize, Till versus Romero. It seems that Whitaker isn't being considered for that. I think in fairness, he probably should be. I think with Costa out and the division with a whole bunch of hammers, but in a little bit of turmoil right now, Gatslam just suffers a loss, so he's he's not going into auto sign. I think Whitaker is as good and strong of an argument as Romero, as Till, parody is probably against Whitaker a little bit. Let's get some fresh blood. Let's bring somebody new in. But I do think that the fact that the champ is back, the fact that the champ is calling out and that, undefeated. Darren Till, not for nothing. It may be 1-0, and guys, but he is an undefeated middleweight. And saying I'm willing to travel to do it, that's how bad I want it. I mean, the champ's been calling the shots for years. Now, all of a sudden, he says, look, I get it. I'm back on the contenders list. I'll meet you in the middle. I really respected it, but I also took it as really good news. I mean, right? I think you guys would agree with me. More Robert Whitaker versus less Robert Whitaker is definitely a good thing. He's been running these streets for years. And he's still here. And so is fear. Undisputed, never lost around. Bodies hit the ground When the bad guy comes to town American gangster, this man will put a hurt on you You'll be crying for your mama by the time he's through You better believe that your life's in danger When you see the American gangster